Hello everybody! I hope you are having a wonderful Wednesday. Today I'm gonna have Katie come on and potentially Roma to talk about, of course, business. And I was just coaching Katie, so sorry for the delay. I'm on a couple minutes late, but we were just talking about how each and every one of us really, you need to figure out your unique way to get into kind of like the flow of your business. You wanna make sure that like, you're not creating a business based on what society is telling you. You want to create a business and like, like the way that you manage your time and the way that you like focus on things in your business, you want to make sure that that is related to creating this business that actually works for you. So I think a lot of us like get into like a rote way that we're like, oh, like I have to do this at this exact time. And Katie and I are gonna talk about how you can create a business kind of like that flows around you. So I'm bringing Katie on, let's get to it and talk about how we can like create this business that actually works for you. Hi. Hello. Hello. It's so good to see you. What? So we just kind of got off our like one-on-one -on -one coaching call and I was just telling people that like you got to create a business that works for you instead of based on what you think society wants. So yeah, yes. go ahead. You literally just blew my mind with <laughs> the time management thing at the end. Like seriously, right? I always thought time management was about like managing your calendar and making sure in an eight hour day you can get everything done and the idea that it can be just like being in flow and then from there when you're out of flow like not working and that being time management for a manifester i'm like holy shit right it's like because you work very very differently yeah and so let's just like um so people if you don't trust me that's fine i just want you so katie has been trying to do like things like wrote eight hour like as a business owner you really will have to create a life in a business that's completely different than what literally everyone says mm -hmm. and it's going to be unique to you so like the things that work for me might not work for you but so mm -hmm. katie is fucking amazing at getting into play and enjoying her life and <laughs> just like actually like living as a person like i think we all aspire to be but like society says oh you've got to be responsible you're gonna work really really hard so just like, tell people what happened um yesterday when you decided to actually like follow your intuition and be the kind of business owner you know you're supposed to be what happened yeah because i think a lot of people hear me say that and they're like i don't believe you and yeah. I want to, like, you to be an example of what's possible for other people, too. Okay, so I think it's really important to share first that, like, I've done it the way everyone else has been doing mm -hmm. it forever, right? Like, we know this, like, for a year and a half, two years. And it's been hard to grow a business. Like, it's been challenging. And I've done all the right things, and I've had all the right work hours. Also, mm -hmm. it's eleven eleven. so make a wish. <gasps> make a wish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. And that like was just causing more resistance and more friction. So yesterday I've been receiving the message from myself, from Megs, mm -hmm. from my friend Jackie, from like so many different people that more play, more, more play, more joy, more creativity. So like after I finished with calls yesterday, I just stopped working, which normally my brain's like, there's so many things you need to be doing instead. And I was like, I don't want to. So I didn't, I followed what I wanted to do. I had a great, fabulous, magical day. And then mm -hmm. around 8.30 at night after dinner, I went online, I had a new consult booked. I had a client, right? yeah. I had a client who um, wanted like a payment plan, messaged me that she wants to pay in full because it's just easier for her. Mm -hmm. I had more engagement than ever on social media. And I was like, oh, I see you. I, I see what's you happening. It's like, oh, this makes sense. And like for anyone who doesn't believe me, because I didn't believe me for a long time. Like I was the kind of person that was like, I have to work really, really hard to prove myself and my self-worth and all this fun, fun stuff that like society tells us that we need to do. I, um, I want to show you like why that's the case. So we have within your brain and like 
we all have a nervous system. So we all have the polyvagal like system within our bodies. And when you think, and also if you want to learn more about the nervous system, you got to check out Katie <laughs> and she teaches you all about it. But for my brief and slight knowledge, this is why I think it works. Okay. So when you're forcing, when you are pushing, when mm -hmm. you're pushing yourself in a direction that doesn't feel like there's a time and a place that sometimes you might need to like, like move forward in a way that like you're pushing yourself, but it's mm -hmm. like you're, you're in the sympathetic zone. So you're in the fight, flight, and that's and sometimes freeze state. So when you're in the yellow and red state, and I'll share these notes with everybody, what happens is it shuts down your prefrontal cortex, which is responsible for like actually thinking logically and creatively. So you physically cannot when you are stressed and when you are forcing you actually can't think clearly and actually have any direction if you can get yourself into like this calm settled grounded curious open compassionate present state which a lot of times happens when you're like just enjoying your life mm -hmm. and just like having fun guess what happens your blood flow comes back to that prefrontal and you're able to actually move forward mm -hmm. and so like now from the state of like oh this is the way it's supposed to work for me i want you to like get into this state of being like okay if i were to go forward with things that feel fun things that feel like joy mm -hmm. for me what comes up for you okay. okay so this is we we had just started coaching on this this is so fun that this is right after our call because we can just continue the conversation it's so it's so good. Too. Yeah. um oh, so we oh, had just okay. yeah so we had just started talking about how like you're so bright. Like I, I had this aha the other day. I was writing a post about like imagine what's possible for you, like the life that's possible for you. And I was just writing it from the perspective of the person. And I had this like full meta moment where I was like, holy shit, the life that I live, like it was about being on a boat in Greece this summer, taking the vacation you want. And I was like, literally that's going to be me. Like, the life that I live is the life that I want to encourage and kind of like unleash people to believe is possible for them and show them as possible for them. But that's my life. So my life is amazing. And I'm like, I've created and I've intentionally cultivated, curated an amazing fucking life. And there's like a, there's like this disconnect with business. I would I literally wrote typed business. We're so on the same wave. Like, yes. It's literally like, what if we could create a business that feels as amazing as I know. life? No. Oh, and it's like, yeah. So there's this like disconnect where it's like business mm -hmm. is challenging and hard and you have to work really hard. That's the biggest one for me. And um, whereas life is like flow and easy and fucking amazing. And so when you say, how do you infuse? more joy and creativity I'm like well I leave work you know like I go and I dance mm -hmm. I go and I do something fun I see my friends I go on vacation I'm going to the beach tomorrow like but when I'm in my business you know that doesn't okay happen. I've got an idea for you how can we make work feel like dance on the beach I know I don't know that's like I think if we could literally get you to be like remember so we made a connection like ages ago where we talked about how like you wanted your business to feel like your partner your husband yeah. you know it's like having that feeling of like that coming home to your business like that I think we talked about that last week if you guys want to rewatch it like you're going to like welcome home people how can you welcome yourself back home to a completely revamped business yeah I think we just need to like throw out everything that you thought a business was <laughs> everything that a business could be just literally what you do for your clients for their lives it's like you just throw out everything that like society tells you is possible. Mm -hmm. Society tells you what a business should look like. And if you were to start today from like that playful young version and present version of yourself, what does she want a business to look like? Mm. If you don't have to do anything that anyone has ever told you, just like literally throw out everything you've ever known to a business to be. God, that's so good. And so it's so good. It's so what you need too. It's so what it it's like. If you can make that shift, your business is gonna feel exactly like your life feels, and you're gonna want to be in. You're gonna want 
to, it's like, there are going to be times when you're going to be able to get in flow more often because it's something you want and something you're choosing instead of something that like, is like a burden. Mm -hmm. That's the magical question. Um, what do you love to do in your business? Jackie actually asked me this last week. I can love Jackie. She's a... Um, me too. What do I love? Well, I love working with my clients. I love watching the transformation that happens for them. Mm -hmm. I love offering that to them. I love talking to people. I love engaging with people. I love helping people. I love showing people what's possible. I love it when I see that connection of like, whoa, like I never the knew The light bulb that. moment. Yeah, I love that. That's like my favorite thing about business. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, now I want you to tell me all the things that you don't love about your business. I don't love writing their notes after sessions mm -hmm. because it takes time. I don't love how I feel when I show up to work every day. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I don't love that. I also love leading like trainings and stuff. I don't love the prep work involved for trainings, but I love like, I just love just like talking to people and leading mm -hmm. trainings. Um, I, yeah, I don't love like all the back end stuff. Mm -hmm. But now because of you, everything's set up on my back end. Mm -hmm. So it's totally mm -hmm. fine, which is amazing. It's just easy. So it's like, I like to think about it. And this is like what I was trying to, I was talking to someone yesterday and they were like, your business is essentially like you create all the systems and it's kind of like a done for you service. And I was like, never thought about it that way. And yes, it kind of is. So here's what I'm trying to figure out. So you have the, we were like the zones. So it's like yeah. the zone of genius, I think is coaching when you're like in the coaching zone. Yeah. Incompetence and competence is where we create systems. Mm -hmm. It's like we're creating mm -hmm systems here and then we got like some excellence that so we just want to like move over to more genius so what i want what to it's like the prep the back end stuff like that's i just want to systematize so it's very easy that you don't have to think about the notes after the sessions is that necessary i know you need to do some of them they really like it of course because it takes lots of time and they can print it out but i could also just start sending them the recordings i thought about that Okay. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. I'm sorry. I dropped a whole thing of water. Oh, no. Like, ah, okay. Let me snag. Yes. I, what do you think about mornings? Because I want what you don't want will tell you what you do want. When I, okay. Yeah. Knowing okay. what you don't want will show you what you do want. And then we're going to build a business from that after I clear this up. <laughs> so, what I don't want is, yeah, what I don't want is like, technical and what i also really like is creative writing like i don't i don't like writing things and having to yep. always have like a cta and always write it in a certain format i hate that yep. i hate copywriting is like follow this uh -huh. i don't like following systems as you know like, yes and that and we want to just reframe the systems to serve you yeah so it's like the systems that i have we adapt adopt abandon whatever it I'm teaching you to do and if it doesn't work abandon that shit you know yeah that's the thing so it's like um sorry you said you love creative writing I do I love like I love I love like teaching people like you can be you like you can be authentically self-expressed you can be the joyful version of you you were before mm -hmm. um I love like letting them be unapologetically themselves like that's that's what gets me that's what motivates me is that idea of like, and it's like, hello, it's your nervous system that's stopping you and your mindset is it like, and limiting. Is it like a bit of education in there? I love teaching. Mm -hmm. I love connecting yeah. people. I love everything that's like heart centered. Um, yeah. I, I love dancing. So, that's really important because like, it's a huge part of my life is dancing. Yeah. When I'm joyful and happy, which isn't work. That's why I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, yeah, what else is business made up of? I don't love, like, 
marketing and I don't love selling, but I love having conversations. I don't okay. like marketing or selling. So this, this is where we literally just have to, they're going to be like circumstance changes that we're going to have like actual like thought changes. Okay. We're just going to have shifts. Okay. So the writing notes after the sessions, we're just going to shift to recordings. Mm -hmm. Like as of today, message your people and be like, hey, these notes were actually going to shift to recordings. I think it's it's probably more powerful for them, for them to watch it. And it's going to be helpful for them to create their own transformation. Yeah, they, it's true. Like them writing their own notes will actually allow them to integrate it more than relying on me to write them up for them. Oh, that's good. Perfect. Okay. About that. Yeah. Uh, more for them. Now, we show up to work every day doesn't feel like a dance party doesn't feel like it's fun what if you have to start every day with a dance party i do <laughs> I well, I mean, what about the the work part what if you have to start the work piece with a dance party or something like that like before writing an email or before making a post or yep. before seeing nine sessions that'd be fun i could do that yep okay moment before work just get into like a song and just be like all right i was gonna dance it out and, like what's gonna happen is so people are like what the fuck yeah it's like what's what you do is like you your brain has a pattern work is hard it's not fun it's like all these thoughts about business that are not serving you and what happens is you need to get out of the thought loop that you're having and Physical movement gets you out of your head and into just it helps you to shift those thoughts a lot faster. Also, fun fact, I think I told you this, but if you're in like play and enjoyment, it's like your brain takes 4,000 times of thinking like a new thought. Like if you're like, I want to enjoy work versus like work is hard. It's like work is fun versus work is hard. It takes, if you're trying to force that thought, it takes 4,000 times for you to create a new thought. Versus if you're in play and you're like dancing and having yeah. fun, they're like, work is so much fun. It takes 20 times. Oh, wow. Wow. What? Right? So the more you can, like, and people who are like, play is dumb. It's like, play is freaking powerful. Play. It can move, it moves your mindset so much faster. Oh, wow. Like, that's why I think. Another reason play works so well. Play work, it's literally like factual it's not like this is like up in the air it's not like this is like oh that sounds dumb it's like no no, no. this is like actually very important yeah. and the other interesting thing is like um plays powerful i had another thought is like oh i think that's i don't know if this is true this is just um hypothetical but you know how like neuroplasticity decreases as you age mm -hmm. i wonder if it's because play decreases as you age yeah probably so what if it's like plays a secret to neuroplasticity it probably it probably is so i'm going to try and get you to play to create more neuroplasticity yeah. around work i also loved what you said at the end of the call that was like we're not calling it work anymore yeah. because i think work okay. I don't feel like the uh, work because the society and everything yeah and what this is like flow what what word do you want flow yep is that so, what we said Flow. Yep. So play in increases the flow and go effect. Flow and go. Flow and go. I love right? that. So because when you're in flow, it works. All of us know that feeling when like you get into flow and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm in it. Like I'm do. It's like we just need to create that as a habit instead of it being something that like. Mm -hmm. Who knows what I'm gonna feel in flow? And mm -hmm. that's what kind of systems I want you to create. Or systems around your flow. Oh, I love that. We're gonna create a flow system. This is the flow system. Oh my god, that's so good. Right? Exactly. Because because it's like this is building your business around you, and so we have to do that. What about the prep? That's so good. Flow system. I love the idea of calling it a system because even systems well, like a nervous system. Yeah. I that's love that. So good. That's so. That's so good. Um, a flow system. I want to like almost rename all the systems because that even systems just feel so like 
heavy and structured and logical and masculine and responsible and i like to all of that okay so maybe instead of the flow system the flow no the flow system it does is perfect it does work yeah. okay good good i love that okay so what about prep how can we reframe prep to be fun and flow is prep prep like for master classes and stuff like i want to lead a master class i was thinking this week i want to lead this came to me in the shower this morning, which is when all the best ideas come. Of course. <laughs> um, and I want to just lead like a, a, a week long, like reset your morning routine kind of thing, but like adding in joy and creativity and fun and send people like really small, simple things mm-hmm. they can add into their day to shift their mindset and shift their nervous system. Mm-hmm. But the idea of like sitting down to write all of that out, I don't want to do. I just want to like, I just want to like lead it. Okay, let's do it. Let's just try just leading it and like speaking from what you're thinking. That could work. Or what if you prepped in a way you felt like you were leading it? Yeah, you know, what's funny. I don't know if other people have this too, or if you have this too, but like, yeah. I just realized this. And I'll, I don't like sitting and typing at the computer because it doesn't feel very fun. But when I'm on my phone, I have like a million notes and I'll type things out in my notes, which technically could actually be called like working. And it's a mini computer. Well, we're not going to say it's flowing. It's flowing. So that doesn't bother me. But like sitting down to work feels not not good. So maybe I could just like, this might sound weird, but just like write the prep literally on my phone or something instead of like my computer. Yes. And if you've got an iPhone, which I think you do, yeah. it can, if you have a Mac, like you can get the note in your computer or you can use a Google doc on your phone, okay. which actually is better because what happens is I, I also write a lot of notes. And if you accidentally delete something, you, there's no undo button. Oh yeah. And yeah. it's like, oh, yeah, I just wrote the best thing. <laughs> yeah. It's not here yeah. anymore. I did that for like my marketing for my launch and I was like, yeah. That is all God. Yeah. I'm just kidding. It's always better the second time around, but just so you don't have to do that. Yeah. And I want you to do the prep in a space you love. So I want you to get outside. Mm-hmm. I want you to do it like outside on a walk as you're walking, just writing down ideas. Mm-hmm. Like I want you to do it in a, the environment shift. Yes. But see, this, this is where that whole like irresponsible thing comes up because my brain's like, or someone in society is like, you're supposed like if you're if you're at your computer for like what an hour a day or like three hours a day when you're having ca- calls and that's it like can you call that work if you're not I don't think we're, we're supposed to call it work anymore oh this is so good you know, oh it's like yeah no I'm not working I'm flowing and creating something awesome and badass you know it's like so no no good. I'm not working like you're working that's so good <laughs> Yes. It's like, this is, it's like, and that's what you, like, that's what we need to do. That's what you need to, like, have is, like, that flow. Yeah. You know? Okay. What about? So good. You're, like, breaking my brain. Right? It's You're like. Also breaking the patriarchy. <laughs> what? You're, like, breaking the patriarchy. Yep. Yep, this is like essentially what we do here. Mm-hmm. Like, just breaking everything that we know is to be true and changing it drastically. Ah, that's true. Get love for us. So, tell me about like doing the back end stuff. What can we do to shift the back end stuff? Now I'm going. So it's like I've given you lots of ideas. Now I want you to take that like flowing CEO, the flow CEO. Oh, we should trademark that. That oh. shit. It's like oh, what? you know what I mean. It's like the inflow CEO. <laughs> What? what the fuck is the inflow CEO who's at your heart, who is you? What does she say about doing all the back end stuff? Like, what does she want to do about? And what? And let's define like what is back end stuff. It's like sending welcome emails and sending thank you emails for consults. It's like all of the systems that you've helped me set up. Mm-hmm. Like the, um, um, I haven't even half of the things that you've sent me are still in your format. I have to write them in my yeah. format. 
I've updated some of them, just set to clients, but I have all of them. And anything that involves an Excel spreadsheet and I, like, we, my husband and I have this joke because he's always on Excel and I, it's like this to me. Like, I, I yes. just like, don't want to do it. Um, you know what? And, it's funny. I thought about, like, this the other day and I was thinking, I actually was on the flight with, back from 200K with Neha and Nikki. And I was thinking about, like, the Excel spreadsheet is, like, I think about it as, like, the gold tendrils to, like, bring someone's business to life. Oh, that's beautiful it's like I was thinking like the like little lines in there are like what brings like the magic they have within them to like life Mm, that's so good that's what I feel like because I'm like this is taking everything that you have and then putting it out into the world into something that people can see and feel this is so so fun as long as we make everything like fantasy and fun and magical that's the thing I'm like oh excel is not it's like gold tendrils. It's are- beautiful. Excel is beautiful. It's a way that you can like bring that in. I love that. I, I, I liked it too. And like, again, this is like the very woo side of me, but I really do feel like the reason that like we have these businesses is like, we're thinking about like a soul centered CEO. It's like, I want you to like be, I think the reason why we start these businesses is to, is to help people with like using our unique gifts and talents. Mm-hmm. And so I think that like our unique gifts and talents are what comes out in our businesses. Oh, I love that. You know, and that's what, like, I'm helping people to like bring their, like that into the world. And so if we're thinking about like doing that back end stuff, like what if you think about, I was good. So this, if Okay, so first off, does anything that, that like the inflow CEO in you have to say that like is a thought about the back end? And I've got an idea for you. Well, I, also, a lot of it is like um, a, a lot, a lot of like work less mentality is like get it all done first thing in the morning. And one thing I'm realizing as the inflow CEO is like that doesn't work for me. Like I can work for an hour in the morning, and then I want to go do yoga and play and go outside and have some fun and then do what I want to do throughout the day and then come back to it later in the evening. And like, I think a lot of me has been like, but that's irresponsible. And then you're making your day longer. And like, you should push everything together first thing in the morning and then you'll be done by two and it's or three. And it's like, maybe not for me. Maybe not for you. Maybe not for me. And I yeah. think that, like, what if your day is actually shorter? Like, if you were to pick the hours that you're in slow, mm-hmm. you know, like, okay, so what if you spend two hours a day and that's going to make you, like, two million long term? What? That would be fucking amazing. Why not? <laughs> yeah. It's so, like, yeah. Because I think a lot of the time you spend flowing is when you're doing other things. That's when, like, all the pieces are coming together subconsciously. And then you just, like, spend, like, moments when you're actually, like, going into the world and, like, Mm -hmm. sharing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, two hours spent, like, we're not using the word working, but, like, like, working. Flowing. Yes. Exactly. (laughs) And it's, like, I think I I saw that Ashley joined, and I'm, like, Ashley, you would love this. You have to watch this back because it's, like, so all the things that we talk about, like, getting into flow and like doing things differently it's like yes yes and so I was thinking another thing that you can think about is like anytime there's something that like is a back-end thing that is a like not a necessity but it's like anytime that someone books a consult with you or they're sending an email I want you to envision one of the things that you said that you loved you said you love working with tra- clients to see their transformation. You love seeing those connections, those light bulb moments. You love teaching people to be authentically self-expressed and be uh, unapologetically themselves. And I want you to imagine that every letter that you type, every time that your finger hits the keyboard, that is a moment when you're like breaking the chains of the people that you're sending the message to. Like, it's like you're, like, you know what I mean? It's like you're taking a piece of, like, the, the, 
things that are holding them back and every single letter that you type for the things that you like that are necessities are like releasing them so that they can reclaim themselves i love that you know what I mean? It's like what so it's like if anytime they, it's like they're gonna read these words and they're going to feel mm. like the biggest release. Oh, coming home to themselves. Like it's like the yeah. every time I like the gold tendrils of, of like love coming across to them. Oh, oh, that's so I love that. I have this image of like the gold tendrils now and I love that. Yep. Oh, so good. And I'm just going to, like, highlight the, like, it's, like, oh, it's, like, anytime, and I wanted to take this, like, into marketing, and it's, like, what if you're, like, I'm just talking with someone to help them transform? Mm. Like, that's what I'm doing. It's, like, we're going to have this conversation that's, like, it, imagining a conversation, like, imagining, like, this is what I would say, this is what they are going to say, this is what they're going to say, it's, like, it's like, I know there's a life that's possible for you that's greater than you've ever imagined, and I want you to imagine them saying, it's, like, but I don't know. It's like a lot of people have told me that that's crazy. And then having the other half of the conversation be the piece you write, like mm -hmm. writing both pieces. Like, and I actually like, remember how like you were like, um, I, um, like you were like, Oh my God, that last email was written to me. And I literally wrote your name. Like I literally yeah. wrote your name and I was like, this is going out to you, Katie. I'm like, this is for you. Yeah. This is going to be a, like a, a transformation for you and that is what I want mm. you to feel you know when you're on when you're writing that I love that it's like um it's like hey Nancy this one's going out mm. for you I know that you think that because of your past and because everyone has told you that you're not capable of creating this life that you want that like that that's just what you have to accept but I want you to, th and then she's like, yeah, like, well, here's the thing. It's like, what else am I going to do? It's like, do you want to look back and live a life that is based on what other people in society is telling you to, or do you want to create from, like, I can help you to live a life that's different. You see what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, yes. yeah, it's so, it's so good. That's another thing I used to like, I used to write emails because of joy and then it became a should and then now I don't like writing emails again and yeah okay so the inflow CEO in you when you're going to market when you're writing an email what does she say that you need to shift to get back into flow she He talks a lot more about play and joy and creativity and fun and a lot less about she thought she doesn't really follow like this is how you should write an email she just like she just shares what's heart-centered on her mind gonna help someone is gonna lead to a transformation and probably she thinks like there's like a a connection yeah it's, it's like this is going to be the exact thing someone needs to hear today mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. one is going to be on the receiving end of like the biggest gift ever there's like a heart centeredness to it that isn't there right now which is okay yeah like, it's okay like you're i don't think we're supposed to like i don't think that like if we fall out of it it's a problem I think it's just like recognizing it and getting back into it. It's because like, it's good. It's because of what? It's that same, like, it's so funny. Cause like I teach people to be authentically them and to be super self-expressed. And then I've fallen into this habit of like, but this is what professional business owners do. Yep. Nope. We don't need to yeah. do that because there are people that like, they want to come back home to themselves. Like I want you to feel like every single time, did you do a love letter to my clients? Someone did like a love letter to their clients. No. And no. he was dead. Um, but they wrote and they were like, this is a love letter to you guys. Like this is going out for you. Check it in with you. Seeing what you're like. Like. I love, love that. That's so good. I, 
really like I want you to feel like that like every time that someone like um I, I think that the whole reason why we came up with that last week was like I literally have been something I read every morning is it like when people work with me they feel like they're home mm-hmm. it's like I want every single time someone comes onto my page I want them to read an email I always want them to feel like they're home mm-hmm. you know and so that's like marketing and emails what about when you're selling you said that you love having conversations you love connecting with people what can we shift when you're selling that isn't currently there i think i think selling has to be less structured i think the theme of this is less structure <laughs> you're like yes that's what i've been saying mm-hmm. i think it's not not like do this then this then this then this then this like i think it's just like um and if i honestly think about it like all the clients that have worked with me are i barely use a process i just like talk to them i just realize that abandon the <laughs> format i gave you format like if you want have the format up there and be like if we it'd be like if we want some sentence starters to like really bring out some of the things that i can help you with i've got these here but i'm really i just want to have a conversation with you and connect with you and think about one some of the ways that i can help you reclaim yourself if this is a great fit for you awesome if not that's also totally mm-hmm. fine you are amazing. You do not need to work with me to be amazing, but I think I could really help you to like go that next level. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I'm just going to have like, have, like have the guide there if you want. It works for some people. It doesn't work for other people. And then like, just allow it to flow. Mm-hmm. That's so good. Now, so this is, we were, we went through and we talked about the things that you don't love and how to improve those. I wouldn't, and I'm not sure if Rome was actually gonna be able to come on, she texted me and was like, somebody come, um, there's a customer. And I was like, oh, she's a tattoo parlor in Toronto. Um, so it's like, yeah, so I'm like, I think that she might be tattooing right now. So we've got the whole time, which is like so awesome. If you like, let's, let's freaking go. Quit. So within the um, like pieces that you do love, how can we create more of that? Mm-hmm. And the, the places specifically that I want to talk to you about are like the talking and engaging and connecting. How can we create more of those three categories specifically for you and your business? Mm-hmm. Okay. The last thing that was coming up about what I don't love, and I yes. think it's a quick shift, is half the reason I don't love marketing is because I feel like my brain's like, like I'm not good at it, right? Because I'm not like getting 20 people to sign up for one thing. So that I don't love. So I guess I can just shift it to I, I am good at marketing. Mm-hmm. And I think that like the metric that you've been using needs to shift. So it's like, it's, it's like thinking about like, instead of doing people signing up, people's lives that are transformed. Oh, I love that. You know? And so it's like, it's like, it's like, yeah, even if nobody signs up from this, their life is totally transformed from this experience. Oh God. You know? And it, it's like this, like, i um, not good at it. I actually don't think that's you. I think that's something that we want to give back to some other people. Mm-hmm. And it yeah. could be like, you know what I mean? It's like, it could be like, like someone placed this thought in your mind that if you're good at marketing, you're good. It's like good at marketing equals people signing up for consults right away. Right. And I think that's one piece of the pie but I think also like our society like I was talking to Johanna about this and I think our society places so much merit and weight on money and in which I think is like it is a piece of your results like it is an indicator but I also think that like when we get down to it it's like 
I also want to think about like, like how many people we've served. Mm. And like the shit, it's like, it's like, I want you to think about like the service and shifts that you've been able to make are worth its weight in gold. Mm. You know? And what if it's like the shifts that I've made are now shifts that are available for my clients. So every shift I make is a transformation for them. Yes. I love that. Mm -hmm. And it's like, especially like the things that like we talked about like last week, it's like, don't teach them stuff that you're still shifting. Yeah. Teach them stuff you've already shifted yeah. and that's all they need, you know? <laughs> and then the like, but like, I was also thinking about like, um, like the pieces of, it's like, there are people who have made more money than me, but I also have like the stuff set up to scale, whereas they might not, not to put a hierarchy, but it like to be like, oh, I figured out like stuff that's going to like make this business very easy to scale like you were figuring out like the shifts like the being in flow it's like there are people who have made more money than you that don't know the flow yeah i love time management equals flow oh my god right it's, it's like like that is something that like a lot of people haven't figured out yeah that, that's so myself good. included a lot of the time by the way like i've got a fully booked calendar and i don't like yeah. it at all i'm gonna throw it out you i know you do mm -hmm. yeah i'm like no how I built this business based from this, based on someone else's perception of what I should be doing. And I'm like, no, I'm just not gonna do that anymore. Mm -hmm. Cause yeah. That's me and that's not what I want. Yeah. Cause yeah. your projector energy also isn't like a hundred percent consistent. Ooh, no, it's not. Yeah. No, it is. So it's like, it like, I, um, I just don't want you to like, it's like, there are people who have made millions of, it's like, um, oh, what does Saren call it? She calls it um, emotional wealth, mm -hmm. I think it is. Mm -hmm. It's like, so, so, yeah, I think it's emotionally wealthy. Like, it's like, I think that you have created so much emotional wealth. Oh, yeah. In your life. And she's like, I don't care if I'm on the streets, but she's like, I would never trade my emotional wealth for physical for monetary wealth any day. I've created emotional wealth, mental wealth, and physical wealth. Yes, you have. And spiritual exactly. wealth. Uh-huh. Yeah. So what if I was like, hey, um, I want to give you a million dollars, but you have to lose all that. And you can make a million dollars every, as much as you want, as much. No. You, you're going to lose that. No. So can you stop using? That's so good. Good emotional wealth, mental, Fear, physical, and spiritual wealth. Like you are emotionally, mentally, physically, and spiritually wealthy. Now the monetary wealth is like chair on top. That's so good. Because you don't even like if I were to give you, and this is the thing I talked about with actually Sarah on Monday. I was like, she's like, if you had a million dollars right now, if you had a million dollar business right now, just blink of an eye. What would be different about your life? And I'm like, literally nothing. Yeah. I'd be sitting up for a house and we'd maybe make some improvements around I, here. I would fly business class or first class. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> but you already are flying places. Like, yeah. would you add more trips? I'm like, no, because I actually like the amount of trips I have for the year. Like, I feel like it would stress me out. Like, I've got like three. I'm going to be gone for three out of four weeks in July. Oh, wow. Like, that's a lot of travel. And I'm like, you know, yeah, maybe too much. Travel. It's like, I, I literally am like, gonna, other than, um, it's like, but that's the life I wanted. That's and so it's like, I also, but I, I also love to be at home and I also love coaching. Yeah. So it's like, I wouldn't want to like add more trips to my year. I've got so many, like maybe at the fourth quarter, but I'm like all the trips that I'm doing this summer and this is like the second and third quarter. I'm like, it's like, yeah. It's almost like stressing me out. Like, I'm like, this is awesome. But if I had a million dollars, like, yeah, maybe I'd travel like a nicer class, but like, that's about it. Yeah. That's about it. And it's like, oh. So it's like, now I'm going to build my monetary wealth, but it's not going to be for my need to have this to like have the life I want. It's like, oh, this is just like, would be awesome. Yeah. It's like the next layer of wealth to build. Yeah. Just another layer to 
layer on on top of it. Yeah, I would say like not even next because it puts it in the hierarchy, but just like an additional. An additional layer. That's so good. And, and how did you learn how to build those other layers of wealth? I did the work. <laughs> not the work. You did the flow. I did, you the, did the flow. flow. Yeah. Well, I did. So you did. Like I did what I teach my clients to do. Like that's how I built it. That's how yes. you get emotional. I can even say that. I can be like, look, I can help you build mental, physical, emotional, Spiritual. energy. Like that's, that's what we do is build those things. And now that you're translating those wealth, those, I want you to translate all the wealth that you've created in your life to your business because they are one and the same now. And I, maybe we even need a word other than business. Yeah. Like, literally, like, I think like creative outlet or like something yeah. like that's like, or it's like my creative contribution. What if we call it your creative contribution mm. to the world? That shifts everything. Creative so it's like I'm gonna take some time to flow in my creative contribution. Okay. You don't own a business anymore. <laughs> you own a create you you are creating a you have a contribution that you you have this creative contribution. That takes so much pressure off. That shifts so much, Megs. Like creative con contribution is like beautiful and fun and that's the golden tendrils that have been missing and it's not pressure and heavy and shoulds it's like what do I want to help people with what do I want to share there's no like that's so different I know that's I think I, I this is something I'm gonna adopt I'm just like this is my creative contribution to the world no pressure no pressure hmm and then you're not coming from lack either. Like I should be blah, totally blah, blah, Totally out of scarcity and insufficiency. This is my creative contribution. And then there's no like pressure, which is really the biggest one for me. Pressure like. What would you say is the opposite of pressure? Flow. Mm -hmm. Joy. Creativity. Play. Joy. Play. And I was going to say freedom, too. Yeah, freedom, too. It's like you're free to create whatever contribution you want. Oh, my God. I feel so different. Right? It's always like, okay, so then how do you want to, with this creative contribution, how do you want to talk? How do you want to engage? How do you want to, like, show up? How do you want to connect? How, how can we get you to connect with more people that want to feel like this? I guess. What would be fun? Talk to people people like how how um well in my group I lead my group mm -hmm. I love that it's growing it's awesome um I I coach my clients I how um I could literally just like if it's a creative contribution I can literally make an offer just to have a free nervous system coaching session with me just for fun like just to show them what nervous system coaching could do for them and that's actually what i, I did with renee and that's why i decided to start working with her she was like hey i like and she was like we can like and what she does currently is she's like it's like 50 50 minutes of nervous system coaching and just like leave an extra 10 minutes like to talk about if you want to work oh, with so me smart she does a free coaching call that's what she did initially but she only offered it to like a couple people she texted me about it and it's actually I think how she does her consults her consults are like 60 minutes and like leave an extra like she does like just like takes you through like her session and like all the subconscious coaching that she does and then she's like also if you want to work together like let's like leave a couple minutes on the side. Brilliant. I love that. Cause then you're also in service, right? Like you're also like, yeah. Hey, let me do the whole thing. Cause no, no one knows what nervous system. They think they do, but they don't. Yep. And so if you have a session, I can actually teach you what you're approaching us. Yeah. Bring some free sessions. Sounds like. I want to offer some free sessions just for Let's fun. Let's do it. So much fun. Where do you, are there places you want to tell people that could you really use nervous system coaching that would like, what would be fun? Like, if you were like, oh my gosh, like, this would be like so in service of these people. You mean, it would, you mean online? Online in person? 
person anywhere who needs you so where do you want to go what would be fun i think i i think i could offer i think i'd want to start with my facebook group make the offer to them first for a free hour of nervous system coaching mm -hmm. for free no coaching and then i could make depending on how that goes i could i could make it to just like my wider instagram audience mm -hmm. but also make it on facebook just facebook in general might get some guys there because it's not just women but that could be okay in person where do i want to offer nervous system coaching to work on that i don't really know i feel like in person for some reason i always think like yoga yeah. studios and like places. yeah you know it's like places or like um reiki yeah places like i think that people that would be like who already like have an understanding of some of the spirituality that you bring yeah and openness that's who i think of I also think that you could do things with people who are like therapists, like offices and like talk with them about like the different pieces of that, like things like that. That's so smart. Yeah. I can you know, therapists and be like, Hey, like your clients probably need some nervous system coaching. I can offer them a free session. Yeah. Just because. And aren't you in, like you're also like helping potentially someone with their group and like coaching people there, right? Help, helping the, the well, three sessions with, with that yeah. person. Yeah. yeah. How's that going, by the way? That starts Is tomorrow. It? I'm very excited. Okay, so uh, that could be another like online place, like the group coaches. Yeah. You talk to group coaches and be like, hey, like, are you missing like that nervous system piece? Like, would it would be so much fun. If we could like collaborate and like I could give them keys, what do you say? I mean, just for free, just for fun. I love that. Or you could do it for like some sort of like that could be like an, an alternative offer. Like I help you provide the nervous system piece of your coaching group. Yeah. Yeah. Like the first session could be free and then we'll do like three more if you want to. Or just like in the spirit, I love this idea of creative contribution. It's like, I just want to teach you how to, how play and joy and fun and magic, like have to be infused in your days to create the life you want for yourself. And you do it by learning to get out of survival. Yo, people stop living in survival. Like, that's what I want to say to people. So say it. That. Whatever you want to say, say it. Yeah. More fun. So fucking good. This was so good. Like, and now it just kind of opens up your brain to be like, how do I want my creative contribution to make an impact in this world? Yeah. Yeah. And it it's, like they're doing it. it's like, no, this is just like the right people will align with it and want it. I think I also am just going to lead a free, a free five day, probably five day, like revamp your morning routine like make it fun and joyful just for fun why not why not and then I said if anything it can be used as like an asset for your future clients and then yeah I mean if nobody comes it's like oh my god people would love this yeah whether they're watching it in real time or not like I would love to do this yeah that's so fun I love that's, you that's so fun this is the shift that you I think needed yes I'm so proud of you thank you feel free to reach out to me if you need me everybody else if you are ready to like kind of shift the way you view this creative contribution mirrors you know I got you yeah. and I'll see you next week gotta work with, with Megan she's like she's <laughs> different I hope people watch this to the end and if not you can just cut this and use it on Instagram but she's just she's different than other coaches and she really like cares about who you are as a person and the way that you show up and what works best for you and just has this way of 
teaching you to run a business or coaching you to run a business that's in service to you. And because of that, like, it, it just is like a total fucking game changer. So yeah, I couldn't recommend working with Megan more highly. She's the best. I fucking love you. I was like, thank you. I like, I'm working on like actually like receiving. Yeah. That. Yeah. No? Yeah. I appreciate oh. you so much. If you tap, that helps. I love you. I love you. And and I will hope I'll definitely see you next week and everybody else get on board. We could do a coaching session here and it'd be really fun. For sure. All right. Okay.